Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment channel. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel, okay? If you are a returning viewer, you know I love you down. I love you down, okay? I love you like basements, okay? You know basements are down. Oh, you get it, okay? First things first, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and get into Miss Lotta, okay? Apparently, Lotta has dropped her new song called Big Mama, okay? Um, now, now, Big Mama was performed on the BET Awards stage, okay? Big Mama is also a viral trend on social media. People are, you know, doing the trend, the Big Mama trend, um, what you gonna get for my birthday, like all that. Um, that's the song. Um, but you know, the gag is this is the gag, y'all. With all the trends and all the TV televised performances and viral social media posts, Lotto's new song, Big Mama, has failed to enter the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Wow, what's going on here? Okay. Um, people are concerned for her career. People are just worried for her, like, girl, what is going on? Okay, now, me personally, the whole Big Mama song, I don't know, I think it's just cringy. Like, you know, like, y'all let everything that people say. Like, for example, a person can make a song called Big Mama, and all of a sudden, everybody Big Mama. Okay, you don't, you don't have no kids. What mama are you? You weigh 100 pounds. You ain't big either. So, you, you're not big or mama. Stop. Okay? All of a sudden, people make a song called Big Mama, now y'all, now y'all, now y'all calling yourself Big Mama too. Lot of make a song called Big Mama. Now y'all want to be Big Mama too. Stop. It's corny. It's cringy. Just stop. A lot of y'all don't have no, no brain for yourself. Make up your own trends. Make up your own name. Make up your own sayings and call it a day. Okay. Stop trying to be like everybody else. All right. Because yeah, a lot of was a big mama, but she's also a side mama. Okay. She's a side hoe. All right. It's Twenty One Savage. He's married. Stop. You don't want to copy what she's doing. It's not a flex. It's sad. Okay. But yes, yeah, her song has failed to enter the Billboard Hot 100 chart, okay? People have been talking. People are confused. Like, what happened? What happened? What happened? Lotto, Lotto. Now, me personally, Lotto's music has never really been, like, a chart-topping type of, you know, musical sound. Like, none of Lotto's music is like, okay, you know, we're going to blast it to number one. You know, she kind of just makes bops here or there, and sometimes they stick, sometimes they don't. And that's most people's careers who, like, don't put out albums, you know? So I'm not mad at that, you know? She's doing what she can do to pay her bills and everything like that, you know? She's doing what she's doing. But it just seems like Lotto's music doesn't commercially perform well. Unless it's, like, a big poppy type of song, like Big Energy, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. Low-key, I feel like deep down inside, um, Lotto just, she just needs to continue to formulate her brand as, as a rapper, you know? Like, she doesn't have any brand identity, you know? Like, outside of Cheetah Print Panties... Nothing is uh, associated to Lotto's brand, you know? Other than her beef with Ice Spice and Nicki Minaj and Cheetah Print Panties, nobody knows anything about Lotto. Other than the fact that she was on a rap game and, like, Nicki Minaj beef and panties. Like, that's it. Oh, and dating 21 Savage. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry. Being a side chick, okay? That's it. Like, literally, that's it. So, nothing about Lotto's brand, like, is associated with, you know interesting persona interesting rc ego interesting bars being animated being fun being different being creative being loud being quiet being like nothing that is associated to her name relates to her music you see what i'm saying so until then her music will continue to flop on billboard high 100 until she continues to work a little bit harder and build that brand identity let's move on to this next topic okay uh moving on to my sister tyler Okay, not Tyler, the creator, or Tyler Perry. <laughs> um, Tyla. Okay, congratulations to her. She has beat the um, industry plant allegations. Okay, well, <laughs> she has beaten the two-hit wonder allegations. Okay, as you all know, she's had her song called Jump and, um, you know, Water. Okay, those songs have hit over 100 million streams. And she now has a new song, okay, that has 100 million. And that is truth or dare, okay? Y'all was calling her two-hit wonder. Oh, she only got lucky because of that one water song. She would never be as big as any other song that she creates. Now she has over three songs with over 100 million streams on Spotify, okay? Now, some of y'all may say, well, Spotify, you know, they have bots. They have bots. No, if, if, if she had bots, okay, they would have removed them bots like they did Megan, okay? Stop trying to make excuses, excuses for her, okay? She's popping. She's hot. Okay, every other day she's trending on social media for her music. Okay, heavy on for her music. A lot of these upcoming artists, their music isn't trending. Their name and drama is. Okay, we hear more about Tyler's music than her drama in her life. Okay, that's why I appreciate her. She stays out of the mix. 
she does her hip hip wine, hip twerk, and you know, she gonna make her music and call it a day. Okay, that's why I appreciate her. Damn, all right. Now, so everybody's saying that she's an industry plant, woo 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 woo. I don't know. I mean, she could be though. Like, like low-key, like if you look at industry plants, she has the track record of an industry plant. Like the way she like, you know, came out of nowhere kinda, but she was working hard, like even prior to her water moment. Like she was working hard prior. We just see the big iconic chart breaking record numbers and that's it. That's all we see. We we don't see the hard, hard, hard late, late nights in the studio working, you know, the, the failures. We don't see all that. So we just see the good stuff and we think, oh my gosh, this happened overnight. No. Thirteen times out of ten, nobody's success happens overnight. And if it does happen overnight, oh I can promise you, baby, they will not have it by tomorrow. Okay. All them little artists you see that are industry plants, yeah, they're dying out now. They, industry plants don't last long. And Tyler seems to be having, you know, a slow, consistent rise, to, okay? Like, a slow, consistent, steady rise. You know, she's about a year in, three songs with 100 million streams. That's slow. That's that's slow for an industry plant, okay? Industry plants will have, like, five songs, 100 million overnight, like, Ice Spice, okay? It's a big difference, okay? But yes, comment down below, what's your opinion on this? What's your opinion on not, okay? Um, we can go ahead and move on to our next topic, okay? Because I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, well, well, well. Okay. Um, it seems like there's some tea going on, all right? Um, on social media, um, Nicki Minaj is online posting Chucky memes, okay? You know, the Chucky, the killer doll, okay? Um, after Megan's album sales have been released and her pure album sales have been released, okay? Um, people are online saying that Nicki Minaj is overly obsessed with megan she's really just like so concerned with megan she is just too old to be worrying about megan oh megan this megan that megan needs to sit down this and that and a third okay they say nikki needs to just stop leaving you know too much attention for megan okay now me personally um i love the chucky memes the chucky memes are funny um and we definitely know it's about megan stein because after them um, you know, sales and first week, you know, numbers came out, she was posting the Chucky memes. And I love it. It's funny. It's funny. Why y'all so mad? Like, she's not even saying her name this time around, okay? She's not saying anything, all right? Um, if Megan can hop on her album and say, you know, slick remarks, Nikki can post Chucky memes too, okay? I mean, what's wrong with that, okay? Um, um, low-key, no shade, but, you know, when Kendrick Lamar is out here, you know, dragging on the beef, there's nobody giving him any hate for that, okay? Um, and Nicki Minaj, okay, y'all saying she's dragging out the beef, but I don't think she's dragging out anything. Beef or not, them sales was embarrassing. Them first week sales are embarrassing. You sold less than 20,000 pure sales. You sold 16K pure sales. That's not a flex, okay? Um, so I think she's just honestly online, um, you know, clocking that T without saying anything. And I think that's what has people so mad is the fact that she's posting Chucky memes. They're saying, oh, Nikki, you are 41 years old posting Chucky doll memes. Like, okay, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that, okay? I think the problem is that they are mad that Nicki Minaj has something to laugh at, okay? Um, they're mad that there's actually something to clown Megan for, okay? First, it was, okay, Megan got number one. Oh, Megan is selling out arenas. Oh, Megan is, you know, oh, like all this rah rah, okay. But now that the album's flopping, okay, um, y'all trying to blame it on, okay, the album was announced the first, um, you know, the, the same month it was released, and the album was also, um, you know, it, it didn't have any big features. The album also didn't have any music videos, you know, it did have music videos. It had three, okay, three: B O A, Hiss, and Cobra. Yeah, baby. Stop trying to make up excuses. That's our problem now. So me personally, if Nikki wants to go ahead and get her laughs and her memes in, why not? We all can have fun and join in on the reindeer games. Okay? Can't we? Okay? But yes, comment down below. How do y'all feel about that? Um, are you all kind of creeped out by the Chucky memes? You know, some people were kind of like, what is going on with these memes? Girl, what is Willie T? Okay? Um, let's chat. People also feel like she's trying to bait Megan into replying to her. Okay. 
uh, because Nikki has also posted many videos of her laughing at the Spotify um, streams. <laughs> Nikki has retweeted memes of her laughing on stage at Spotify. You know how Megan's, you know, Spotify streams were bought it. Um, you know, Nikki, <laughs> Nikki, she was laughing at that, okay? Um, but yes, y'all, comment down below. I'm living for it. I feel like it's, you know, I feel like it's January 2024 all over again so i'm living i'm gagging it's messy i love like like for me i love subtle shade more than direct shade because it leaves a lot of room for question like ooh, is this about her is this me like it's just like ooh, it's a lot it's like it's funny it's fun i'm not saying i don't love a good diss track but like you know posting like indirect memes and indirect sayings and quotes always just feels more like a puzzle you know what i'm saying it's funny it's really funny i love it i love it i love it <laughs> Ooh. okay y'all moving on to cardboard um it seems like we're going to be having a new human to be introduced into the world soon okay um cardi b was posted up pregnant okay at some event looking like a, a balloon you know an inflated balloon um it seems like she's going to be having a kid soon by her cheating husband offset Okay, that's just embarrassing. Why would you allow yourself to get pregnant by him like that? Knowing what he has put you through every single year. I mean, I feel like it seems like every single, you know, time um, she is, this, this, is, this is what happens, okay? She, um, you know, puts out music. She bashes her husband for cheating on her. Um, and then the song flops. And then she goes around and, you know, gets pregnant, okay? And then all of a sudden the cycle repeats like okay is this your promotion formula is this your pr stunt by having kids like i feel like every time her career is like on a decline she has a baby to keep her name afloat okay this may sound real messy but i'm just being real okay but you know low-key no shade you know i'm not saying that she's having you know pr babies because that would be disgusting okay um, but it seems like her name recently has been buzzing and not for music. It's all about drama. It's always been about drama lately. If you are only trending in the media because your husband's cheating on you, that's sad. Like, that is really probably one of the most saddest things I've heard in the past three years. Okay? Um, that's awful. You're only in the, the news for being pregnant and being cheated on. Okay? Allegedly, this is all alleged, by the way, okay? Because, you know, she hasn't come out herself and said any of this, all right? But, you know, I just feel bad because it's just like, you are a rapper. You are an artist. Why is your music not really doing what it's supposed to do? You know, you have a Grammy. You know, you all say Grammys are so important. You have a, she has a Grammy, you know? Why can't she get another hit? Why isn't the album out? I mean, you know, yeah, she's been teasing, you know, the album with some songs, but they all sound trashy. They all give me garbage can. Okay. I don't know. Maybe they may have to grow on me because sometimes songs come out and I don't like them, but eventually I do like them. But nothing is like quite sticking right now. Like, what's the tea? Um, but as of right now, it's not looking it's not looking too good for her. Um, and also when you have babies, they slow you down in, in, in their career, you know, but that's fine. You know, it's okay to be slowed down. I, I feel like society has made it to where like, okay, women should start to feel bad because they're having a child and it's going to slow down their careers. That doesn't, no, that's so bad. I don't, I don't agree with that narrative at all. Um, you know, if, if somebody wants to have a child, let them slow down their career. They're having a whole baby. That's normal. That's fine. You know, but Cardi B can't afford to have no child right now. Her career is, is just, no. Okay. No. All right, that's just my personal opinion on that, okay? Let's go ahead and get you a few more hits, and then you can pop some kids out, okay? But yes, y'all, let's move on to this next topic, all right? Moving on to Miss Doja Cat, okay? Doja Cat breaks a new record, y'all, okay? Uh, matching Nicki Minaj's 100% sold out shows with fewer shows, okay? 12K average tickets per show, all right? With a debut arena world tour. Doja Cat also sets a new record as the first female rapper to sell out the O2 Arena in London twice, beating Nicki Minaj's 96% for just one show. Okay. Now, me personally, um, I don't understand why Doja Cat, you know, blogs, or whatever, are posting stats trying to compare because um, no shade. Um, you know a person is the standard when they're consistently comparing, you know, one artist to the other, okay? Um, they're saying the Doja Cats, you know, selling out, you know, these sold out shows, okay, with fewer shows. Um, okay, 
um that's good but you know fewer shows sold out is not a flex okay i feel like having more okay um sold out shows will be a flex i don't know why that's on the stats i don't understand that at all um but yes comment down below y'all how i feel about this um doja cat's tour yeah it's great but i don't hear any about anything about her numbers no nope, like uh, yeah you, you doing all these great things but where is your income reports okay where are your pay stubs all right um you know i have been searching online for information regarding your tour in terms of the income i'm finding really limited and just estimated numbers you know now i'm not saying that she's flopping i'm not saying she's doing bad numbers i just want to know what she's doing okay um but yes um congratulations to doja cat okay for her tour or whatever but you know, apparently she's been touring and she hasn't crossed the $100 million mark yet. Um, you know, I'm not downing her. I'm not putting her down for that. You know, hey, she's going to get it probably soon. Uh, but I don't know. I just feel like Doja Cat's tour is like almost slept on. Like nobody, nobody talks about the Scarlet tour like at all. It's so weird. Like I don't, I haven't talked to anybody who has gone to a concert of hers. Like was her um, concert full of bots? I know, I know that sounds crazy, but like, you know, was she, did like, did, did she have like, like AI audience? I don't know. Cause like nobody talks about her concert. Did any of you all go comment down below if you've been to the Scarlet tour. Okay. I haven't seen nobody. Okay. Talk about them going to the tour. Okay. In person at all. I know people went to all types of people. I've heard Drake. I've heard Janae. I've heard everybody but doja cat no okay let's move on to this next topic okay okay you guys moving on to the missy elliott buster rhymes and sierra tour okay um the tour is causing quite the conversation y'all it's causing quite the conversation and people are wanting to know what the hell is going on with sierra okay um people are like sierra has lost it okay um missy should never hosted this tour at all people are just concerned okay um, now, as you all may or may not know, but Sierra, you know, she's normally known for her, you know, iconic dance moves, you know, her dancing, her stage performing, woo doo doo woo okay? Um, but people are like, who, what Sierra is this? Okay, what, what Sierra is this? What happened to the Sierra, um, from back in the day, who used to dance her tail off, okay? Now, low-key, I get what y'all are saying, I get what y'all are saying, but people like that, you know, like, sometimes y'all, like, when they get older and stuff, they can't dance how they used to. Okay, she's trying her best, but there are so many like hate comments on her performing skills. It's like, what happened? Okay, because just a few years ago, you know, she was able to go on stage and make it pop. You know, uh, you know, she was doing level up, level up, level up. Okay, now it's level down, level down, level down. Okay, um, you know, but I don't know. I just feel like Loki no shade, like the whole Missy Elliott Busta Rhymes and Sierra tour. I never, I never was a fan of that tour because I feel like it's just like nobody's checking for y'all right now. Um, in the most honest way, um, Sierra, maybe Missy Elliott, maybe Busta Rhymes. No, who's checking for Busta Rhymes in 2024? Okay, that's just like almost an insult to have him on the tour. Okay, um, but yeah, all right. But I don't know, y'all. Comment down below. Do you all feel bad for Sierra? Okay, because you know she's getting so much hate right now. I don't think she deserves hate. You know, it's not that serious. There's more issues in the world than you know you not being able to to perform how you used to. Um, in terms of stage dancing and stuff, you know, she's still on there giving her best that she can. Um, but, you know, she kind of does look a little bit, you know, lazy when it comes to the dancing department. Maybe she's tired. I don't know. Maybe she just says, you know what, let me do this tour, get this little money real quick and go on about my day. OK, but yes, let's move on to this next topic. Y'all. All right. All right. Y'all. Congratulations are in order to Glorilla. OK, she has been doing her thing this year. She has three songs in the top um 40 of billboard hot 100 charts okay she has her song wanna be with megan the stallion she has her song yeah glow and now she has her song um tgif okay the rihanna infused promotion song okay that's great that's awesome okay i'm proud of her okay keep doing your big one okay um uh, many people were saying that glorilla fell off and now they're, saying, now they're saying that she's using payola to have success um payola no i don't think she's using payola um, you know, like I said, Rihanna is a big, big factor to her career right now. Um, that song, um, you know, Wanna Be, that was kind of going viral on TikTok, you know. Um, the song, Yeah Glow, mm, that's kind of payola because it's always on radio. But other than that, I don't really think that she's having payola. I think she's really just having a decent run this year, okay. 
Um, Global is just having a decent run. And people are loving her music. They just are. Um, it's just like people are always, you know, turning up to it. I've been to a lot of concerts this year. And they've been playing Glow's music. And they've been going crazy to her songs, okay? Um, at first, I'm kind of not, I'm not really a fan. Because it's like, it just like, it gives like, confused man trying to make rap music. But like I always say, I'm going to give my tens where tens are due, okay? But yes, Glorilla is up right now. But we're going to see how long, you know, she's going to continue to have this hype, okay? You know, it's summertime. It's easy to have a summertime hit, you know, when you're an artist like Glorilla, okay? So, you know, we're going to have to see. We're going to see, you know, when it gets cold outside, you know, what you going to put out, a Christmas album, okay? You can't make Christmas twerk music, can you? <laughs> But yes, comment down below. What's your opinion on this? What's your opinion on that? Okay. Um, people saying that Glorilla is taking Sexy Red's spot. Okay. I don't know about that. I feel like Sexy Red, you know, she... <laughs> that's another topic for another day. I'm not going to get into that. But all right, y'all. That's all I have for you in today's video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and tap the bell so you can get an alert every single time I post a new video. All right, y'all. Be safe.